Hi, I'm Roz Gervais. I am a business coach for new and rising artists, and I help my clients to develop the confidence to show up as an artist, sell their work, and master their marketing so they can build a fulfilling art business and get paid to do what they love, even if they're self-taught and have no idea how to market themselves. So let's dive into our topic today. Um, I was chatting with a new client of mine recently and she was showing me all of her beautiful artwork. So they're watercolor artworks, beautiful abstract botanicals, something close to my heart. I love that sort of art. Um, I'm a botanical artist as well, um, but I primarily work with acrylics, at least at this stage. Um, and she asked me this question. She asked me, do you think I have what it takes to make it as an artist? And I thought that was a really interesting question. Pop a um, yes into the chat if that is something that you have asked yourself as well. Do I have what it takes to make it and to find success? Whatever success means to you, of course, because we all have our own definitions. But have you caught yourself asking yourself that question? Okay, so that's what she was asking me. Do you think I have what it takes? Now, she was actually referring to her artwork. She was asking, is the artwork good enough? Will there be enough demand for the artwork? And it really, really got me thinking because if you're playing the long game, if you are an artist and that's your long-term plan to find success in this industry, then you are the thing. You, as a human being, you are the thing, you are the decider of your success. So the question is actually not really about the art, right? Because we are all really, we're good learners, okay? We're artists, we're creative, we can develop our skills, we can work out how to paint something better, better. <laughs> um, there's no problem there, right? And the world is so big, especially if we're selling our art online, that we can also find a market for our art, no matter what our art looks like, and no matter what subject matter, medium, all of that jazz. Um, the question is, not about the art and not about the market. The question is, do you have what it takes to find success as an artist? So you need to ponder this. This is not a question that I can answer for any of you or any of my clients. You need to ponder that. So look inside yourself and ask, do you have the commitment to make your dreams happen, to do the work because, yes, there is work involved in building an art business and to be stubborn enough to make that success inevitable. Um, it's something that Laura, my podcast co-host, and I often talk about is the fact that we are both stubborn. And so if you're really stubborn, you're just going to find a way, okay? You're just going to make it happen. So um, what my client took away from this conversation was that she is the master of her destiny, okay? She gets to decide if this is going to work or not. She gets to decide how badly she wants this art dream and she gets to decide if she's going to show up for herself, make the mistakes because they are inevitable and we should be making mistakes. Otherwise, we're not growing and learning. We're not trying new things. And she gets to decide if she's going to learn along the way. OK, so I hope that you are taking some um, tips out of this and some benefits from this conversation today and from this story, because um, it is something that a lot of creatives face. You know, this questioning, do I have what it takes? Is my art good enough? Is there a demand for it as well? So I have some tips specifically for you today um, for what you can do. Um, to find this energy um, within yourself and this motivation as well within yourself. I'm just going to quickly look at the chat and Susan says, yes, yeah. So you definitely have that sort of pondering, do I have what it takes? So if you are sitting here wondering, do you have what it takes? Here are three pointers to help you to gain some clarity. Let me know in the chat which of these resonates most with you. And which of these you're going to put into action, okay? Because dream, to dream, to hope, to aspire for something is one thing. But the next thing, next step is to put things into action and take that inspired action towards your dreams and towards your action, um, towards your hopes, because no one else is going to be doing this for you, right? Okay, so number one. Do the five whys exercise. So get a notebook and a pen and write down this sentence. Write down, I want to succeed as an artist, okay? Just one little statement. I want to succeed as an artist. And then after that, I want to ask yourself, you to ask yourself why 
five times over to try to get to the bottom of your motivation to succeed. So this is a really powerful exercise for uncovering what is truly driving you and it will leave you with something to ponder. Often it uncovers some really interesting things, some fuel for thought, food for thought, whichever <laughs> expression is correct. Um, so you may end up with something like, because I want to transition from my day job into full-time art, or maybe I want to live a life that is free. Maybe that will come up for you, for you. So then ask yourself, is that enough motivation to have you show up and make your art ambitions happen? Okay, so that's exercise number one that can help you on your journey. Number two, ask yourself if you are living your best life. We only have so much time on this planet. And if you watched last week's Tuesday Tea with Roz, I had a massive rant about this topic. Um, so my theory is we may as well do something with our life um, that we enjoy, okay? So do something that we enjoy. And for that cherry on top, um, bring that joy to others too. And that's like um, my beautiful client, Alison Boma, who's here with us today, today live. <clears throat> who is making her art for her own enjoyment and inevitably just naturally inspiring other people to tap into that as well. So that is amazing. You can be the change makers in this world, okay? So that is great to hear about you, Alison. And that's important for us to realize that, um, yeah, we, have, we only have this time here on this planet and we have a responsibility almost to do something beautiful with that for ourselves and for others too. So does art form part of your best life? And is art, here's an honest question for you, is art just a small slice of your ideal happy life or do you want to be all in? Okay, you as well are the decider of that. Are you all in? Are we going like full blown, full steam ahead with your art business? Or are we just having it as a, as a side hobby to remain that way. You are allowed to dream big and you're also allowed to just realize the truth of it for you that maybe you just want it to be a little thing on the side, okay? You decide that. So that's exercise number two, asking yourself if you are living your best life. Exercise number three. Now, make sure you're letting me know in the chat which one you're going to apply, okay? So number one was the five whys. Number two was asking yourself if you're living your best life. And then number three is above all, letting joy lead you okay so if you enjoy making art like the process of making art make the art that you love to make okay don't go making art to suit a market to um, for visual appeal make the art that you enjoy making because we're all about this um this the long haul it sounds negative the long haul but we're after the long game we are artists we're artists through and through right so we want to be making the art that we enjoy making and we want to be making art that we want on our own walls we want to be using mediums that we enjoy working with we want to be selling our art on platforms that are actually fun to sell your art on. If something feels like a slog, if it feels like an uphill battle, if it feels brutal, maybe that's not the right platform for you, right? Because as I was saying, we only have this one life. So let's make the journey to success, however you define success, let's make the journey to success a joyful journey, all right? Like life is too short to like, to um, what's the word, to flog ourselves, you know? So let's make it joyful. Um, the, another way as well to let joy lead you is to tap into collaborations with fellow artists to turn up that joy factor again. Now, if you are committed to achieving your art goals, make that journey fun. Okay, so we have our three action steps for you to Today. You can do all of them or you can do one of them. Let me know in the comments which one you're going to do. Number one, the five whys. Number two, are you living your best life? Number three, let joy lead you. Now send me a message because I actually have noted down here um, three extra bonus tips for you. So if you would like to send me a message, I will send you those three bonus tips just in your messages because I like to keep these Tuesday tea sessions fairly concise. I just have extra. So anyway, send me a message and I will send you those extra ones. Um, now, if you are looking to build your art sales, being more visible on social media is a really, really good move. Social media can bring up a lot of sort of funny energy for some of us, but if we get the perspective right, we will see that social media is a 
powerful, free avenue to get in front of more people. So if we can find a fun and joyful and playful and creative way of using social media to get in front of new people, then we need to be amongst it, right? Okay, it's a free option for us. How amazing is that? I think it's really important also to see um, this option with gratitude. It's a completely free option for us and we really should be getting involved if we can find that joyful way. Now, to help you to find that joyful way, I actually have a free Instagram content calendar for you. Um, it is um, it has 35 fuss free content ideas that are designed specifically for artists. If you have not downloaded this one yet, um, I will pop the link into the comments um, or you can drop in the word, like what should we drop in Instagram into the comments down below and I will shoot you the direct link so that you can download this one and find some fun on social media, all right?